thank you for everything. That's very kind. Queen Elizabeth II reigned for 70 years, so it's no surprise that she was referenced all the time in pop culture. Did you catch all of her animated appearances? I'd like to see where this is going. Number 1. Did the Queen understand Minionese? This queen in a royal carriage is a familiar sight for most of us, but not quite like this. The minions seriously go out of their way to kidnap her. We never imagined seeing such a regal and intense car chase, or carriage chase in this case. And we definitely never thought we'd see these intense moves. Yeah! <laughs> you scoundrel! Uh -oh. Off to them! Number 2. She's got some slick wheels. Security is tight, even when everyone is in car form. Human or car, every queen should have their own throne. We also sneak a peek at the Buckingham Palace of the Cars universe, or should we say Truckingham Palace? But the real gem was seeing Mater being dubbed a Sir. I hereby dub thee Sir Toe Mater. Number 3. It's important to watch where you're driving. Especially when you're coming so close to royalty like Homer and the Fam did. In the episode The Regina Monologues, the Simpsons don't leave the Queen with the best first impression. Dad, you rear-ended the Queen of England! Number 4. Who doesn't like to be pampered? Stewie probably would have been a natural prince. But in this episode, we don't just get a mention of the Queen of England. Family Guy brought us their take of the royal herself, looking regal as ever on her throne. Great! Number 5. Who doesn't love a knighting? Unfortunately, we don't get to see the queen carry out her knighting duties fully. Krusty really missed out this time. Wait a halt. Number 6. Is there a relationship more wholesome? Queen Elizabeth was famously dedicated to her sweet corgi pooches, and we're totally on board with the fact that the royal pups got featured in their own movie. Being separated from her beloved dog? Well, this got us right in the feels. What made the movie even better was that Julie Walters voiced the royal. She's delightful. Number 7. Save the best for last. This may be one of the most fun endings in a Simpsons episode. No one can say the queen didn't have good taste in television. My cat's breath smells like cat food. Number 8. We don't exactly see her, but in this Futurama Season 5 episode, 300 Big Boys, the Queen does get a pretty risque mention. Bender is looking at an item that supposedly had ties to the Queen. We can't imagine the royal family was too happy about this one. Give you 300 bucks for it. No can do. Number 9. We're going behind the laughter. The Queen had a humorous side to her. Especially when there was a special nod to the monarch in the Simpsons episode, Behind the Laughter. It seems in the Simpsons universe that she was a longtime fan. <laughs> Number 10. This HBO series didn't just feature the Queen, but the whole royal family. But let's just say it wasn't even close to the same vibes as The Crown. Actress Frances de la Tour was responsible for voicing the Queen in this series. The whole show focused on Prince George's life, but not for long since it never made it past the first season. It's hot, it's hot, perhaps? Number 11. She was right on the cover. The Queen has appeared on the cover of plenty of magazines over her 70-year reign. And it looks like Martin Prince picked up a copy. Although this isn't the nicest cover. Ooh. Number 12. Welcome to Duckingham Palace. Way back in 1987, Queen Elizabeth popped up on the screen in the series DuckTales in an episode called Dr. Jekyll and Mr. McDuck. Say hello to the Duck Queen, crown and all. And just like in real life, she was there to lend a helping hand. May I borrow yourself, your majesty? Of course, dear lad. Number 13. Blink and you'll miss it. We start the episode off strong with a news update from Kent Brockman. But the Queen wasn't looking in the best shape in this instance. Number 14. Now this is a different medium. The story of Winnie the Pooh and the royal birthday may have been written as a book, but it got turned into a video as well. The story was made in celebration of both the Queen's and Winnie the Pooh's 90th birthdays. In this story, their encounter was not a disappointment. The Queen was so close that they could have reached out. Number 15. A British classic. Okay, so this wasn't a show or movie. 
but it was too special not to include. The real queen herself stepped in front of the cameras in 2022 to create one of the most British Paddington Bear scenes there ever was. There were, of course, marmalade sandwiches involved, a Paddington Bear staple. But who knew the queen would have her own stash? The bear puts it best. I always keep one for emergencies. So do I. The queen made her mark in more ways than we can say. And looking at pop culture specifically, let's not forget how many times she was portrayed on screen beyond animation. This video is dedicated to her and the legacy she leaves behind after 70 years on the throne.